Doc, do you think Paul just got tired of losing? Figured it would take it on himself. Well, I don't know, but I'll, whatever it was, it was great. You know, it really, I mean, it was efficient, though. It didn't, it was a lot of open shots, a lot of ball moving down the stretch. He had caught fire and he created his own, but. For the most part, I just thought uh, the ball movement was really good uh, by our guys. Um, you know, when you shoot 60%, basically, a lot of good things are happening. And and then when you hold the team to 40%, uh, 41%, a lot of good things are happening. I yeah. thought Jason Collins were playing, uh, getting one point and two rebounds. I thought he had a, a, an amazing impact uh, on the game for us, uh, and especially for Kevin. Um, I thought... Kevin enjoyed playing with him. How long have you been thinking about that particular combination of stars? Uh, a while. I uh, just never did it. I've been talking about it for a while. I was actually trying to wait for Avery, to be honest. Um, but we just went ahead and did it. What do you like? What do you mean the impact you had talking about? The well, just defensively, you know, the rotations and the size. You know, he took charges that he could get. Uh, he took charges and he just clogged the middle up. He's one of the better talkers on our team defensively, knows all the, uh, everything we're doing. And I thought it made Kevin relax. You know, he felt like he's had to do so much, and I thought having Jason out there was good for him. How much uh, does, you know, once Jason gets more time, does he get better? I mean, get back to how much does Jason even get better than what you're seeing right now? He doesn't have to get any better than me, honestly. But uh, I just think he does a lot of things. The first basket we had was a pick. It was a bone crushing pick, and it was by Jason. That's what we told you before the game. He sets picks, hard ones, um, you know. And I thought that set the tone. Would you have to figure he'd be a little bit rusty about 57 minutes all year? Coming yeah, but he practices, he plays. You know, it's a great example. Um, he just keeps his preparation is good. So um, we, you know, you still still not the game minutes, so you worry about his win. But I wasn't worried about his play. I mean, he's very in tune. You can hear him on the bench. Uh, telling guys what they should have done when they're coming out of games all year. So you knew he knew what to do. Uh, I didn't know if he could sustain as far as minutes. Doc, when you guys went up 20, yeah. and then they made their run, yeah. and then you guys make the run, what happened in those three phases? Well, there? honestly, our bench came in and didn't give us a lift. Um, you know, then they were fantastic in the first half. So, you know, it was what I was, we still haven't sustained a 48-minute game. We had that one stretch. Um, which we have to get better. I thought we had a 20-point lead, you sub in, and I think guys think when you have that lead, it's scoring time now. Um, and it's really defensive time. you got to continue to get stops, and then you can score. Uh, and I thought we short-coated that part of it. When you have a team that's you know, scuff on a bit like you guys have, mm -hmm. how much do you sometimes you just need your best player to just come in and have a night like Paul? <laughs> well, just, you know, take over. You can write that now. <laughs> you know, I didn't think that before the game, but he did that. Uh, and he did it in unbelievable stretches. You know, you throw him back in when they cut it to four, and he just goes back to work. Uh, he's an amazing scorer. How much do you think he took to heart those, these last three games where he talked a lot about being outworked by them and just how embarrassing that was to be a part of that? Hey, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I think he, him and Kevin and Ron, they all took it to heart. Uh, they don't like the way we're playing. Uh, they believe we're better than what we're playing, but we haven't done it. And we, you know, at some point, got to stop talking about it. But uh, and Paul did that tonight. Did you like the moving Jeff back into the starting lineup? Yeah, I did. It just, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you put Jason there, you need another shooter uh, so they can't help off of Jason. And that's why we put Jeff back in. So, I mean, the, the whole thing between him and Rondo, I mean, that becomes... Yeah, you can see important. it. I mean, Jed got open shots, and Rondo usually was the guy that passed it to him. Or, or him and Paul had action going. So, you know, the other thing is Jed, it's crazy, it sounds he's one of our better pickers as well. You know, uh, that's what he did in Dallas, and he's doing it here. So it was just a good, good one game. Uh, now we have to try to sustain it and keep it going. Did you want something different out of Rondo tonight? Because obviously he got <clears throat> no assists for a long time. Shooting the ball more. No, he was aggressive. I just wanted him to be aggressive and attack the rim. Uh, and I told him his instincts will tell him when to pass and when not to pass.